Welcome to the Billy Ho Forecast Show. Please subscribe and like the video. Remember, the more you share, the bigger we grow. Now, let's go! Hello, Billy Ho here. In today's show, we are going to head north up to Blaine, Minnesota to cover the 3M Open. Before we get started, I wanted to uh, talk just a little bit of, of uh, the Open, British Open, as it was uh, such a fantastic back nine performance by Cam Smith. Rory was hanging in there tough, and he just couldn't sink enough putts. I think he two-putted almost every single green except maybe the last one. I can't remember now. But uh, Cam Young, dude, drives 18 and then sinks a 17-foot eagle putt to get it to 19. But, I mean, it was kind of a foregone conclusion by then because Cam rolled his approach putt up to like about two and a half, three feet, and no way he was missing that. So he was going to fall a shot short, but hell of a run by him too. Uh, but Cam Smith on 17 and 18 was absolutely amazing. It, it was really a fun watch. I, I love the British Open for the fact that, okay, pluses and minuses. Plus, I like the time because I, I keep – Billy Ho keeps odd hours. So Billy Ho could be up at 3 o'clock in the morning watching some golf and then take a little nappy nap and wake back up about 9 o'clock and then watch a little more golf. And then on the weekends, it's kind of cool because the, instead of 6 o'clock, the golf is done at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock, and then you got the rest of your day to, to get out and do stuff. So that was kind of cool. Downside of the British Open – is uh, the course played too easy, obviously, but I don't like the brownish green or brownish fairways because I can't seem to find the damn ball after they hit it, especially with the run out. They, they show shot tracker and the ball flies out there. Once it hits, I, I'm looking all over the place for the ball. I don't know where the fuck it's at. And it's a brown fairway. That's why old dudes like Ernie Els and, and, uh, the other Rory used yellow golf balls and shit so they could, they could at least find it. But I digress. Good week for Billy Ho and the Discord channel. Shout out to my man, Big R Colts fan, Ryan. Uh, had a big week. He, uh, he nailed all kinds of sixes, sixes. Uh, I had mostly five of sixes that were really, really strong. So I cashed out very well. And those were... Hashtag bad beat of the week was Webb Simpson. And if you don't know how Webb Simpson missed the cut on the number, just take it to that one par five on the back nine where he drove the ball into the bunker, shot one, shot two, one yard, shot three, nine yards, shot four, shot five, shot six, bogeyed the par five. That would be all she wrote for Webb. And that's probably all she wrote for me for a while until Webb gets his game back because he seemed to be spraying it on a course that you just should be hitting irons on and shit. So I, I, I'm out on Webb for a while. He's really, that's uh, at least second John Deere and maybe third time that he's uh, really torn my heart out. But this one cost me major six of sixes. I mean, half a dozen or more. Uh, I had two six of sixes, and every, every other lineup was five of six. And I'd say at least five had Webb Simpson in them. And then over on Yahoo, I had Webb Simpson in all three of my lineups over there that were five of six. So it is what it is. You know, you put your faith in guys, and they don't come through for you. But we're going to get her started here with TPC, Twin Cities. Twins. I have been to Minnesota. I went to, to uh, there on a project. Uh, uh, oh, it's been a couple decades almost ago. And uh, cold AF in the wintertime. God, Minnesota is cold in the wintertime. We were up there in, I think, February. 
uh, for a two-day project. And the wind, oh, I don't know how you all deal with that shit. But TPC Twin Cities, we're in the summertime, so it's 7,431 yards, par 71 golf course. Both fairways and greens are bent grass, and the three-inch rough is a mix of bluegrass and fescue. And that rough is non-penal, I'd say at best. Uh, fairways are fairly generous. Uh, the, the course is loaded with water hazards. Water is in play on 15 holes. The bent grass greens are 6,500 square feet on average, so they're big, and they run about 12 on the stem, but I would consider them fast if we don't get any rain. So we're talking fast bent greens. Look out for that. 2018, they said the fairways were narrowed, but they're pretty much still pretty generous. So, uh, Guys dial back anyway, so you're going to see a lot of uh, – actually, driving distance is longer at this course. So some the bombers will dial back, but the other dudes can't hit it further. Uh, this is the fourth year of the 3M, and uh, we're probably set for a birdie fest, and this is why. The years one and two, Matt Wolf and Michael Thompson respectively won with scores of minus 21, minus 20. Last year, they had some inclement weather Thursday and Friday. They had rain delays and whatnot, and they had pretty windy conditions Thursday and Friday. That kind of knocked the score down. Cam Champ won that with minus 15. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any storms uh, on the horizon, and there is a windy day mixed in there about Wednesday or so, so far, that I've been tracking but it hasn't moved forward or backward. It's still showing Wednesday. So we'll see uh, what happens there. And it's, it's possible for some wind on any day. It is Minnesota. It's the Twin City. It's the lakes. So tons of water. As you can imagine, being a birdie fest, there are 10 or better holes that are 20% birdie rates or more. Uh, there's three par fives that are all gettable in two. Water is in play, but it's avoidable if you're smart. I mean, now guys can, you know, if they get a, too aggressive, that's the defense of the course. You can plunk it in the water. But holes one, holes five, seven, 10, and 16 are easy par fours between 380 and 420 yards long. And those are all, you know, your basic 20 plus percent uh, birdie chances. So we're going to get into the skill sets. All right. Before we get into the skill sets, uh, this is the, the wind finder. And I'm not going to get into weather. I'll just show you this one thing because this was the, the Wednesday uh, gusty day that I was talking about. And then Thursday instantly gone. We could get some rain on Thursday a.m. We'll just keep track of that. You can call the Billy Ho hotline for the forecast on that. I'll be posting that in the Discord uh, as often as I can find it. And see, you can see how the wind is just dead after that all the way through Sunday and maybe, you know. But you know how Billy Ho says the weather does. It can go forwards or backwards depending on how the fronts are moving. So enough of that. Skill sets, as I mentioned, this right here is a recent form model from the last five months, ranked accordingly. And what we're going to be doing here, uh, let's take a look at the breakdown first, actually. We got ball striking, ball striking, ball striking, approach, 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 putting, putting, putting. You can see around the green is null and void. Three putts are not very high. So this tournament is going to come down to approach game and putting. Uh, greens and regulation are obviously higher as well because you have large greens, but you do have generous fairways and you have uh, driving accuracy is a little bit more accurate and driving distance is significantly longer here. Well, not significantly, but it's seven to 10 yards longer uh, as well. So that's what we got going on there. Now back to skill sets. I, I broke it down like this. I got a little off the tee, a little distance added in here. So 
heavily approach ball striking. And uh, I threw in some putting, and I'll show you in just a second uh, my mixed condition model. I did also proximity from 200 plus because the uh, par threes are somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 yards. Let's see. Uh, well, there's 177, 204, 228, and 202. So 200 plus seems fair number. And obviously, you're going to have that 200 mark when we hit par fives because everybody's going to be trying to get after these greens in two. So uh, mixed condition model is somewhat similar. I picked out some of the big highlights here. But putting, this is fast bent over, uh, let's see, last 36 rounds on fast bent greens. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Of course, you know, touchdown Tony, top five Tony, number one ranked in the model Tony, uh, played overseas Tony, not 100% sure. Uh, that's another thing to keep an eye on. These guys will likely WD. Some of them might. I don't know. It depends on where they land in the FedEx Cup because this is a perfect opportunity for somebody like Tony Finau, Cam Tringali, uh, some of these other guys that actually had pretty good showings, Sung J M, who had a bad weekend over at the at the the Open Championship. So uh, these guys will have the opportunity to earn some FedEx points against a somewhat weaker field. This and Detroit Rock City coming up. So you you might see some guys doing that. These are the non live tour guys. I mean, there might be if there's anybody leaving for live tour. They're going to be obviously DGAF about FedEx cut points. So the tournament's going to come down to the approach game and putting, in my opinion. Uh, the Excuse me. The player who has his irons dialed in and converts those birdie opportunities is going to take home this trophy. Uh, I'm going to be looking for guys who putt well on fast bent greens. Good wedge players are always in play. And the guys who are hitting those greens – in under regulation. So the guys who are going forward in two that actually hit the greens is always a good thing. And, uh, and they'll have some somewhat longer irons in their hand. Like I said, par threes are 177 to 205 in distance. The one was 228. So players, like I said, I think Tony will play here cause he's, he's competed quite well, actually. And, uh, He's got good tournament history. This is the uh, most strokes gained, and he is at the top of the board for the three years running. He's had just a middling uh, T20-ishes. He should have won it in 2020 probably, but, you know, it is what it is. Cameron Tringali playing some outstanding golf. Uh, I, I look for him. These are guys are all going to be chalky. It, it, this is going to be a week. Uh, that you, you really have to use some game theory, I think, because there's going to be some uber, uber chalk. But you got Tony Finau, Cam Tringali. Obviously, all these guys are going to be hot and heavy. Uh, I, I starred these guys just rankings. Davis Riley's been really go at a good run. Got her up. I don't know what we're going to do because he got her up out of my state of Kentucky uh, by – the Thursday round, if you remember, at the Barbersaw, Cam Davis made a decent run in the uh, Barracuda. And, uh, of course, our boy uh, Cheese, Cheese, Reevee won uh, the Barracuda. He kind of stumbled home on Sunday, but he already had a big lead. The model, modified Stableford scoring system. Uh, Hubbard was in the mix on that. There's going to be some guys. Sahith the Gala will probably get ownership. Nick Hardy's been playing good lately. See, all these guys are the popular names. I'm going to be looking for some guys like this guy, Michael Kim. If you remember, uh, let's just take a quick look at him. I believe he was the guy that just went nuclear back in the day. Look at all these missed cuts for days. For days there it is 28 god it's been a long time 2018 went absolutely nuclear 
13.5 putting, one of John Deere going away. I think he shot like 28 or 30 under or some shit. But you can see he never showed up ever, ever, ever again. But then recently, a little bit different. 3M Open was – this was last year's 3M Open. 39th place. That's not terrible. The approach game was going pretty well. Pop, popped with the putter. Approach and putting. Just mentioned that just five seconds ago. Dude lost eight on off the tee, so he probably found some water here and there. But, you know, he hasn't played a lot this year. We only got two results from him, but pretty damn good. Nice seventh at the Barbasol. But he's positive in everything. Ten, ten tee to green, uh, just a little bit minus putting, but approach game. So he, he might be an interesting guy. Uh, and you might see him mentioned, you know, I, I'm bringing him up on my first look, but people see these models too. So, you know, the people will be like, oh, Michael Kim, here we go. And I'll be like, damn, you know, you can't be sneaking up on nobody with this shit. So anyway, Svensson's obviously been playing well. So it's really, some of you'll know, I played a few weeks ago. This seems like a bomb and putt for Wyndham Clark too. So, you know, we're, we're going to, this is just the first look. I don't, I'm not in love with anybody just yet. Not like I was last week. We'll have to keep an eye on, you know, who's, uh, who's in, who's out. And uh, so I just wanted to, to get you a quick preview of uh, what we were working with there. I, I so appreciate you guys watching and tuning in, tweeting me out on uh, social media. And uh, I love seeing those green screens. So congrats to everybody who cashed it in at the Open Championship. Remember, Billy Hustle, Billy Ho Sports, subscribe. Click, 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 click. Keep clicking that button. And uh, give us some likes. And, you know, keep it loose. And until the next time, peace.